The question was this. I was mm -hmm. going to ask Mad Dog. If he still has concerns about Lamar this Jackson is why, winning this is why when need, it matters I need Mad Dog to come. Th go ahead. You want yeah. me to go first? Mm -hmm. yeah. We need I'll you go to go first. We want to hear this. This is a tough argument. I'll be the first to admit. Mm -hmm. Because he's playing great. He's been awesome the first three games of the year. But, he won an MVP. But, but, a tough but, argument. But, like, but. Gonna come <laughs> there we go. I was mm -hmm. waiting for it. But. He's played four playoff games. Greatness at the position is what you do in postseason play. Greatness in the position, in this position. It's like centers in basketball. Yeah. Greatness in this position is postseason wins and, at the end of the day, hopefully some Super Bowl trophies for the most part, if you're on good teams. Okay. He's played four playoff games. They have yet to score 20. They've only scored 20 points, no more than 20 points. Has he been the on four. really good teams? Yeah, very good teams. They lost a home playoff game. He was the MVP of the league, and they were 14-2, and two, and he played against Tennessee at home, and he was awful. Two years ago, he played in Buffalo. Lost 17-3. Scored three points. He's 1-3 in the postseason. His quarterback rating in the postseason is not great. I understand it's a tough argument to make. MVP, favorite, I'll buy it. But, again, he, you guys like to kill me on this. He has the same amount of wins in the postseason as guess who? I don't know. Kirk Cousins. Oh, gosh. You should hang out with Michael Kirk Irvin. Cousins. Beat the Saints in New Orleans. He beat Tannehill in Tennessee. And he's not scored more than 20 points. Can I, and he wasn't great in big games in postseason play when he was at Louisville as well. Got shut out by LSU, lost to Mississippi State in postseason. Wow. Bowl games. So you're bringing up his college. Uh, we, we up college no, all the way now. back. Yeah. Yeah. Bring up college at Louisville now. Am I, am I allowed about to make an argument? Wow. Can I wow. make an argument before Kimberly Shameful. kills me here? Shameful. Can I make an argument? Shameful. Go ahead. So let me give you guys at home just a glimpse of what we were doing in commercial break. Mad Dog had the glasses on, had the books out, because he knew I have to come with receipts to make my point. Oh my goodness, what am I? He dug all the way back to college, guys, to prove that Lamar Jackson can't win a big game. This is what we're doing. So I'm glad you have your little pen with your little notes, because I like to take notes too. So this year, 2022, Lamar Jackson, glasses, Three more passing touchdowns this year than in 2019. He has a higher passer rating. He has more yards per carry than in 2019 when he was the unanimous MVP selection. He, every time Lamar Jackson disproves or proves other people wrong, the goalpost moves yet again. Everything, can this guy throw? He's great, in, he's great with his feet, can he throw? Actually, yeah, he can. He's got a pretty good arm. Ah, oh, but can he do it consistently? Oh, but he can't win him. Everybody looks at this Ravens roster. Now it's clear Rashad Bateman, the Ravens made a good choice taking Rashad Bateman. There are questions about him last year. It's clear he's a number one. But when you look at Lamar, I don't understand the, why the well actually crowd gets so much joy out of moving the goalposts. Everything that we've seen from him, he has gotten better. Josh Allen was not Josh Allen a few years ago, but he worked and he got better and he had the right coaches around him and the system was better and then they brought in weapons for him. Stephon Diggs is there. So I, I don't understand why we, we, Lamar, like what more does Lamar have to do before people say, you know what? I was wrong. It seems like everybody wants to hold on to the pre-draft analysis of like, I don't know if he can make it in the NFL. Uh, he's not a guy that stands in the pocket. Oh, he uses his legs too much. Oh, he's just looking to escape. And everybody at some point has to say, you know what? I didn't see it coming, but I love watching it because I didn't see it coming. And I just want Doggy, I just, because I love Mad Dog. I just want you to just say, you know what? All that digging in the crate for college stuff. All right, you know what? I'm reaching. I just want you to say I'm reaching. I might be reaching with the okay. college. Okay, thank you. I might well, be, I'm fair. Well, well, well let me say this. Let me, let me say this. First of all, a couple of things. Number one, Doggy's winning. And here's why he's winning. He went from not being on TV at all, really, <laughs> you know, to being on TV with his own baseball show, to being on national television every week, to having people on this show telling him how much they love him. 
I mean, he's been toy. They, I've, I've, they, they, Molly said she loved him early in the show. Dominique Wilkins, Dominique Fox said that she, he's love, he loves him early in the show. And now Kimberly has said it. So Mad Dog's winning, okay? Mad Dog's winning. I guess it's that slick back hair that he rocked a couple of weeks ago trying to look like Fat Riley. You understand? Make himself look about a decade younger. I mean, I guess that worked for him. So we need to be learning something from Mad Dog in that regard. What we don't need to be learning from Mad Dog is football. Because when it comes to football, he's not consistent. You know, one minute, I mean, he's sitting up there and he's calling out quarterbacks, but then he'll praise Kirk Cousins. I mean, this is what he does. You understand what I'm saying? This is what he does. And now we're going to bring up Lamar Jackson. I will remind you that Lamar Jackson has 243 yards rushing over the first three games or so. I will remind you he had a 79-yard touchdown run. What quarterback has done that? Okay, that's not, that's not why he bought Lamar Jackson. We understand that if he hadn't got hurt, the last four games or so, last five games of last season, he would have had his third consecutive 1,000-yard rushing season as a quarterback in the National Football League. And he's on pace right now to rush for over 1,200 yards this season. That's what he's on pace to do. Never mind the fact that DuVernay, Devin DuVernay, not Ava DuVernay, Evan DuVernay, <laughs> this brother has just been balling. Okay, let's give him credit. I didn't expect this, but this brother's been balling. Bateman can ball as well. We know Mark Andrews can ball as well. J.K. Dobbins hasn't been back, but he'll be back, and let's see what he can do. When you take all of those things into consideration, the likelihood, doggy, is that if Baltimore can't get it done in the postseason, It'll be because of that horrid pass defense that has contaminated this squad in the last 20 games. They've given up over 5,500 yards. This is what they've done. And so when you look at it from that perspective, how does that come back to Lamar Jackson? Only in the world of the doggy himself. It's Mad sad. Dog Russo. It is so sad. Nowhere else mm -mm. but Doggy World. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.